Sean, uh, you have always sort of shaken up the industry, and you've said for years now the distribution model for music is broken. Uh, you saw it firsthand with Napster. Now you have Spotify, and you've said that it is your life's mission to complete what you didn't complete with Napster. Well, Napster, Napster was an interesting company because it succeeded more as a revolution in music and in distribution than as a company. Actually, as a business, it was a failure. And uh, I always felt a certain responsibility for, because, we, you know, we did it, Sean Fanning and I founded the company because we love music. Mm. And we, we, we felt like Internet offered an enormous, enormous opportunity to, to change distribution of music and get more music out to more people in the world. But the, the record labels and the world I don't think was ready for it. So it was this sort of wake-up call, this, 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 this event that triggered a lot of activity but ultimately didn't succeed. So then what we've seen since... Uh, 1999 is, and you know, you can blame piracy, you can blame the cyclical nature of the music industry, but there's been a, a contraction in the music business from a $45 billion worldwide business to a $12 billion worldwide business. So is this why you say the war against piracy has just failed? I, I, I do believe the war against piracy in a traditional sense, in the sense in which it's been fought over the last 10 years, has been a failure. I don't think that the, ultimately the war against piracy is a failure. I think that there is value in music value intrinsic music that the consumers the consumers appreciate. I think people are willing to pay for music, but I think we need to redefine what ownership means. So explain Spotify to us, because <clears> it's <throat> a very interesting concept. So free on the desktop right. and then pay for right. it on your mobile. So I I Exactly. So in, in, my, in, in, in the vision of the world that we were pursuing at Napster 10 years ago and that Spotify is pursuing and actually succeeding today, um, ownership is really about portability. You know, it's not just da a download on your, on, on your computer, but it's about access to the music on all devices, mm -hmm. uh, burning it to CD, porting it to your iPod, streaming to your iPhone. That's truly what ownership means. So we, we believe in a model where, where the, um, the desktop is essentially like radio. You're going to discover music and play on your friends' profiles. You're going to mm -hmm. discover, you can share playlists with your friends. You're going to learn about more new music than you've ever experienced before. But only when you want to truly own that music and make it portable and take it with you, do you pay. Mm. And the success, you say, of Spotify has been here in Europe, but not in the U.S. How do you break into the U.S.? Well, so, so I, you, you, can, you can look at what's happened with Spotify almost as an experiment that was conducted here in Europe. And I think that experiment has been largely successful. Uh, uh, we are in the process of negotiating with the four major record labels to bring... Um, Spotify to the U.S., those, those negotiations are going very well. So I think we're, we're quite close to getting it done. Can you beat Pandora? Well, Pandora is a totally I love Pandora. Pandora is a totally different experience. Pandora is a, is a radio experience, a true, true radio experience. Um, it's a great way to discover new music um, if you already have something in mind, but it doesn't enable social sharing of music. It doesn't enable instantaneous, the instantaneous gratification of Napster or, or Spotify, where whatever music you want is available at your fingertips, and then you can also see all of your friends' music, all of their playlists, what they're listening to, and experience that. You make headlines often. Um, give us some headlines. What are you working on now that you haven't talked about publicly? Um... So I, I'm in the process of founding a company, which I can't talk about publicly because I haven't talked about it yet. Um, Any hint of what arena it's in? Li live video. So I've been, we've been, I, I think I've, I've been on the record a couple times talking about how I find I thought that the chat, chat roulette was sort of an interesting cultural phenomenon, and I've sort of watched it, watched it closely and have some ideas in that, in that arena, but okay. I'll, I'll leave it at that. All right, we'll take that. And finally, Sean, your legacy. Um, what do you want it to be? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not concerned with legacy. I think, I think legacy is the wrong thing. It's the wrong thing to pursue. What mark do you want to leave on this world, on this industry? I, I want to try to make the world a better place. And, and, and by better place, I guess I mean a more compassionate, open, transparent world. But I don't need that to be associated with me in any way. I'm, I'm much more concerned with my life here in the moment than what legacy I...